In December 2022, Brookfield Corporation spun off part of its asset management business from its mothership company. BUM, the asset management pure play, is the main building block and the biggest store of value for the Brookfield Corporation, which still holds 75% of the outstanding shares. Brookfield Corporation is the entire Brookfield empire and has a stake in all these subsidiaries like infrastructure, renewables, real estate, insurance, etc. I've made a video about them previously, which I will link in the description. BUM, or Brookfield Asset Management, is focused only on the management of Brookfield's assets, for which it gets paid a fee. 90% of the distributable earnings of these fees will be paid out in dividends. For this reason, Brookfield Asset Management sees a dividend of around 4% while the parent company only sees 0.9% because the parent company reinvests the capital while Brookfield Asset Management pays out the vast majority of it. But because Brookfield Asset Management will manage most of Brookfield Corporation's new investments, their distributable earnings will grow even despite them paying out 90% of it. Basically, shareholders of Brookfield Asset Management get to ride on the coattails of Brookfield Corporation's capital and assets. And that's the main gist of it. Brookfield Asset Management manages all of the assets of Brookfield Corporation as well as its subsidiaries like Brookfield Renewable and Brookfield Infrastructure. As long as the assets under management grows, so too does Brookfield Asset Management. And their capital under management certainly has grown. Here is a graph of asset under management in 2012 till 2016, where it was 243 billion. Right now, in 2023, so seven years later, it is 825 billion, which using this formula here, shows a CAGR, a compounding annual growth rate of 19%. And this is actually also the growth that Bruce Flatt, the CEO of Brookfield Corporation, has projected for Brookfield Asset Management earnings, between 15 and 20%, which he says are locked in for the next two to three years. So while Brookfield Corporation is a massive entity that requires you to at least somewhat understand all its components to understand the full business, Brookfield Asset Management in essence only relies on one metric. Are the assets under management for Brookfield Corporation growing? Yes, then so are our earnings. It pays a higher dividend while still enjoying a steady growth in line with the expansion of the Brookfield Enterprise and for this reason may be a more simple and understandable stock to hold in your portfolio. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!